Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back with another Fallout 4 Let's Play. This time we're back with Episode 7 at a terminal in one of the ruined houses in Sanctuary Hills. And we're moving on to the Concord Entry, which is where we left off. O'Keefe. Still good for a couple of hits of daddy-o a week. Pretentious pseudo-intellectual asshole, but his money's good. Williams. Wants medics as much as I can get. Hasn't told me why, not really my business. Guessing there's some sort of long-term pain management going on. Disease? Anders. Kids are usually a no-go, but this girl's got style and she's not interested in getting tweaked. Ordered 20 blood, pa 20 blood packs, some Halloween stunt or something. Or hell, maybe she's really a vampire. What do I care? She's got her daddy's money. Okay. Let's wonder if we'll find that. Boston. Isaacs. Some student at CIT wants Day Tripper XL and an entire pallet, yes, pallet, of Mentats. Not sure if he's doing crazy experiments, dealing to the other eggheads, or on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Don't care so long as the money's good. Ward. Young married couple, good for a couple Day Tripper per week, easy order, cool people, no brainer. McDermott. Cop, longtime buff out customer. Running into supply problems. We've had a good thing for years. I'd hate to end it now, and I don't exactly want to risk him getting all noble and law-abiding if he can't get what he wants. That would end very badly for me. Sapolsky. The old lady has upped her daddy-o order. Weird, but profitable. And finally, miscellaneous. Malcolm. Potential new customer in Charleston. Wants medic. Seems oddly desperate. Might be a cop trying too hard. Need to move slowly. Duchesne? I'm not sure how you say that name. Underwear model from Braintree. Beautiful, intelligent, totally weird. All she's ever wanted is stim packs. Ten plus per week. My imagination continues to run wild. Okay. Well, that's this terminal. And... He's got a safe. So let's crack that open. Ooh. Yes. On the first try. Rounds. 10 millimeter pistol. 10 millimeter rounds. 21 pre-war money and a silver pocket watch. Not a bad haul. I'll bet that safe he was talking about is the one I cracked in the other house. guess maybe that was his lab or something. Anyway, laundered loungewear. What does that even look like? That is laundered loungewear. Okay. Um, so, that was this house. And his mailbox. And the last time I thought I could not stealth, I got tech by something. Okay. So, stealth it is. It's my favorite way to play anyway. I like sneaking up on things. Oh, and rad damage too. You've taken radiation damage, reducing your max health. Visit a doctor or use Radaway to restore health lost to rads. A cooking station. Okay. Um, fridge, nothing. Looks like an empty milk bottle, maybe. Uh, da, 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 fire extinguisher. Stim pack. Okay. Captain Cosmos, the adventures of Captain Cosmos. Co-starring Jangles the Moon Monkey, Thursdays at 8 p.m. Pre-war money? Ooh, safe! Lock's really strong. Oh, yes it is. Radio. Oh. Probably going to be shutting off every radio we find as fast as we can, just so we don't take any hits from the music industry folks. Um, okay. Fragmentation grenade? Times two. To throw a grenade, place mines, equip them in the pit boy, then hold and release. 
the left direction key, which is what I currently have it mapped to. So weapons, so I should be able... Ooh, I can equip both at once. All attacks have a damage type, ballistic, energy, radiation, or poison. So I'm guessing that the grenades and the pistol are both ballistic. Crossing the river, where I've tried to go in the past before the bombs fell and got blown up by one of them in a previous video. There's something up here. Duffel bag, 45 caliber rounds times 13 and a short pipe revolver rifle. What is that? 24 damage, 18 damage, fire rate 6, fire rate 46. We'll stay with the 10 millimeter. There is the rocket we saw in the background previously. And a dog. Greet the dog. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Oh. OK, then. Let's stick together. Right on. Face your dog and press enter to begin issuing commands. Hey. Head over there. And press, press the right direction key to stop issuing commands. Okay. The red rocket. Weapons workbench. Workshop. Probably opens and closes the door. Oh, speaking of what I said earlier, where is it? Okay, don't hate me, music people. I, I got to it as fast as I could. Honestly, I'm not trying to sell this video based on that music. I promise. Um, so, okay. Ooh, gold-plated foot lighter. We like gold-plated. Cap stash. And another terminal. Oh, wait. Um, Med X, Nuka Cola Cherry, Rad Roach. I don't think so. Rad Rocket Terminal. Business entries. New equipment installed. Took some wrangling with the head office, but we finally got all the tools we need to machine our own parts. No more having to pay for Corvega factory parts the next time they change the spec on the damn fastener. Just take one we've got and trim the excess down until it fits. Rosa Restoration. That Rosa widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. Nice woman, pretty. Kid seems kind of a brat, but I guess that's the point of her doing this project with him. Anyway, she's been doing a hell of a job. I was amazed at how much her and the kid have been able to do on their own. The only reason she even came to me is because the engine is out of her depth. I'm sure we can help her out. Safe Storage. Take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer-term solution later. Hey, if nature is going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? So there is a cave beneath the shop. And go back. October service logs. Friday, October 1st. Replace the brakes in 2075 Fusion Flea Supreme. I wonder if that's the little car. Uh, Wednesday, October 6th. Monthly service on the Vault Tech van. No major issues with the vehicle, but the rep is an uppity asshole. Thursday, October 14th, began work on a late model motorcycle pre-atomic. What seemed to be simply a sticky throttle turned out to be a more serious issue with the cables. They're almost all completely degraded. We'll replace with platinum parts. Ooh, a pre-atomic motorcycle. Uh, okay, I didn't catch the date. Uh, coolant leak in one of those new 2077 Corvega Coupes bubble top. They don't make them like they used to. That was the Monday, October 18th. Friday, October 22nd, replace the atomic alternator in a 2073 Corvega. And go back. And that's it. Um, safe storage. Take care. Oh, no, we read that. Okay. Okay. And we're done. Okay, and our time is just about up. Although it's a... Oh boy. 
You get him, boy. Our time is just about up, and we are under attack by mole rats that appear to be leaping dead out of the sky. Okay, while we made sure of that mole rat, something else close. The red dot on the compass. Close, but not close. To, no. Okay, I'm not sure where it went. Hey, I wonder if this is that fusion flea. Anyway, uh, that has been episode 7. We'll stop here with dog meat and pick up exactly where we left off. Uh, concerned that we're about to be attacked by mole rats. But... Got it. And... There's more. Okay, well, eventually we'll end this episode, and hopefully on a safe note. You know, dog meat, let's come into the uh, garage here for now. Maybe they can't burrow up into the concrete. Okay, so we're going to end episode 7 in the garage, hunkered down with our dog, and uh, we'll see what happens next time. This has been Checkers with another Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time Episode 7. I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you found this uh, informative and a little entertaining. I'd like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.